characters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom and Tommy O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here on this beautiful February 1st day. Let's, this is one of our four agreements, Tom. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. To try to change them to fit what you want them is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Now we're going to look at all the... Colors, all right? Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up uh, 326, right up there, Tommy, right up there. NASDAQ's up 194, S&Ps are up 52. Gold, gold contract up $4.30, trading at 2,071 an ounce. You got silver up 13 cents, $23.30 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 66, $74.19 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 17 ticks. Trading 117.28. Okay, look, look, we gotta do this. The 30 year bond up a full point, plus 21 ticks at 124 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading down 230, no, that's your microphone. 232 ticks at 103.042. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in y'all world. Now watch this, Tommy. No, he's not done until I, I show him the bond. Okay. Hey, Tommy. Um, Tommy, look at this one. This is this um, is done. this is the most important part um, of the marketplace. I'm um, done, Grandpa. Okay. Okay. You're done. You did good. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tommy. Happy birthday to you. Three years old, folks. Tomorrow. Okay. You did a great job, Tommy. Thank you very much. We'll see you later, alligator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Have a good show. Thank you. You gotta love this, folks. Have a good show. Listen to that. Okay. So let's say I want to start off with the bond, folks. Okay, because this is quite a move, right? We, we talked about the yesterday, the aspect of the lows to the highs, straight line move. And then what we did is that we did a point. Sorry, guys. Got the show going on my phone simultaneously. Um, we we did less than a 0.382 retracement, so that sets up an ABC structure on the way up. And on top of that, what we got out here yesterday, as well as today, is that you got monster volume. Look at this thing, man. Yesterday we did 3.5 million contracts. Today, 2.4. So what does it mean? Well, what it means, folks, okay, is that. Just as, and we talked about this the last couple months, whatever, um, when Powell was going up on rates, the market went up on rates three months before the Fed actually went up on rates. And what's happening here is that the market's going down on rates before the Fed has actually, un un you know, basically gone down on rates. And if we bring up the 10-year yield, what you're going to see... It says 3.24 is the next place for support, and it also sets up the ABC structure on the way down. You can see what's happening here. Now, this is just the opposite, so you can see what happened. 
Yield October was the high, 5.02. You do a small bounce, and now you're going after the bottom. In fact, if I go like this, let me see. Yeah, good, it's a generic one. Yeah, if you go after this, what you're going to see is that the top of that there, 5.03, 3.25, so let's just say 1.2, right? And when 1.2 off 4.19 is bottom line three, right? And it's 3.24 down here. So this is even better than I actually thought. 3.24 is at the bottom of this consolidation. But if we get to, what did I just say, 3.24? If we get to three, <laughs> that's even more intense, man. That's, that's sweet. Actually, it's three, where's three? I see, three's the top of the next level, which brings you back to, well, 2022. And so simultaneously what happened is that, and this is what had to happen for that S&P to go higher, is the dollar, you had a lot of turnarounds today in the marketplace. The gold contract was down $20 and ended up being up $5, folks. The, the dollar index traded all the way to 103,811 and just gave up 811 ticks. The, let me go over to the gold so you can see what happened with the gold. The gold, there's no doubt, this is a rejection of lower price. You get volume two days in a row, which is saying we're going to break topside once again. We take a look at this. Yeah, big volume, man. Look at this. Yesterday, you do... 238,000 contracts, we're 248,000 contracts. Now, you can see the fight, though. The fight, the fight between the bull and bears is huge, man. You know, because each of the bulls and bears, they know how crucial this area is. You know, this is an area that we had taken out, failed, taken out, failed, okay? And the bottom line is that we'll see whether we end up taking it out again. But you're, you're at that level, you know, because... And when you have price and volume simultaneously going with you, most times, folks, you're going to get that follow through. And this is going to be that third time up into those levels. After the close out here today, we're going to have Amazon coming out with numbers. And Amazon's going to be looking to do 166 billion to the top line, 80 cents to the bottom line. Apple is going to be looking to do. $118 billion to the top line, $2.11 to the bottom line, and Meta Platforms is looking to do $39 billion to the bottom line, $4.91 to the top uh, $39 billion to the top line, $4.91 to the bottom line. They're all big numbers, man, and they're all, they're all, they all continue to grow quite a bit. There's no two ways about that. So we'll see where the rest of this is going to shake out. Stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading up uh, 313. Got the NASDAQ up 190. S&P's up 52. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. .com. Call, call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow. Dow trading up at 330, Nasdaq up uh, 191, S&P's up 53. If we go over to Tesla, Tesla's going to, you know, he's, he's making the move. He's going to try to make a corporate move to Texas. Uh, we'll see how that uh, shakes out. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, you had the Delaware Chancery Court go against Musk on the pay package. And, you know, we'll see where this goes. And I can tell you, looking at this chart, uh, this 108 is game, man. We're at 188. 108 is game. That's a high volume low, man. You know, so this whole thing in general is going to be pretty wild watching, particularly because the aspect of what he got to sell off at uh, 400 and 405 is absolutely amazing. We take a look at some of our higher volume equities out here today, the way it's set up right now. Oh, I know here. This is important. New York Community Bank, right, folks? Okay. The bottom line is that these community banks, okay, and regional banks, they're in big trouble, man. That's, you know, you had, you had citizens, uh, let me see this. CIT. Citizens Bank come out today, and they were trying to basically, they were all trying to, oh, here it is. Citizens CEO, uh, say New York Community Bank is an outlier as a regional bank paying. There's no way these are an outlier, folks, okay? The bottom line is that what regional banks do, okay, is they lend to developers, okay? And the bottom line is that inside of their portfolios, they got up to 30% to 33% of commercial office buildings, which are worth what? Zero. Not zero, but guess what? Okay, they're, they're, the haircut there is a good 50%. And what has happened is that they don't have to mark them to market unless the default comes in. And that's what happened at the New York Community Bank. They had a couple of defaults come in, and they had to basically mark down $538 million, Yeah, on a couple of defaults. Okay. Do we have Tim? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, so the bottom line is that you're going to see more of this inside the community bank structure. And, and there is a different, different differential, meaning that, yeah, um, office buildings, they're going to have to figure out what to do with them. You know, 
Residential, yeah, the, we still need so much that's residential. It's insane. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Moore, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day. He has an awesome newsletter at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on, brother? All right. Uh, nice to have you back. Haven't it, talked to you for a while. It's great to be back. I, I heard you and Jacob. That was a great interview we did on Tuesday. I was listening to you. I just couldn't be oh, here. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, that was, cool. that was really thorough. You're always thorough anyway, but that was pretty cool going through that whole, you know, gold scenario. There's no doubt. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, I, I tried to look at the picture. A lot of people, you know, always kind of start the big picture, work backwards. Yes. And there's something important going on here, but, you know, the market, as far as gold goes, you know, if you look at GDX, it's pretty much unchanged since last August. I mean, I know. it's gone up, it's gone down, and inversely gone nowhere. Yep. Uh, so, you know, at some point we're going to, you know, we're going to start going somewhere. I, I'm thinking it's going to be quicker than sooner, but, you know, who knows? No, hey, listen, it's, it's today, you know, and today, Tim, was a big day because gold was down 20 bucks. It rejected lower price, had light of volume. It's, you know, it's up 4 or $5 right now. But simultaneously, the dollar gave it up on price two, which you need. You know what I'm saying? The dollar was up 800 ticks. Now you're down 200. And if that dollar breaks, that's going to be it with gold. And, you know, the gold contracts, the last two days in the gold contracts have been huge, man. And you haven't had a lot of price movement. But the bottom line is that we both know when you start moving to a higher high, which they both did on both days, okay, Today, we had 249,000 contracts. That's monster contract volume. And yesterday, we did 238, you know? Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, normally, this contract's doing like 80 to 100,000. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, okay, they're, they're ramping this baby up. So, but we both know the yeah. gold market is always challenging, man. <laughs> yeah, I just, just. You know, we almost turned up. I had that. I think it was the H or the H U I gold ratio. Yeah. And uh, I was doing a, a Bollinger Band on it, and uh, you know, if we close above that mid Bollinger Band, and we were doing it on on December, we're right smack at it. Oh, it and I think, okay, we're going to go through. It and teased off. us. So you know, <laughs> it teased but, us you know, beyond belief. Yeah. 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 It's kind of frustrating, but anyhow, uh, the bigger picture looks really good, but. Uh, we can start looking at some of these charts if you want. Yep, I got the first one up for you. All right, uh, this is just the SPY, and what's really important yesterday? What happened is that selling climax. If you notice volume, uh, uh, which is pretty much the middle window there. Yep. Uh, normally, if you get thirty percent or more volume in a spike, that usually either going up or down. That usually stops. Stop the decline or stops the advance. And wow. yesterday we had pretty much 100% uh, volume expansion compared to the previous days. That's sell that's the selling climax, and that usually just stops the market. Yep. Uh, now what's going to happen probably now to get through yesterday's low, you have to have it at least equal volume, if not increased volume, to get through yesterday's low. Well, that's probably not going to happen. So yesterday's going to be support. Yep. Uh, so. Uh, and if you also notice, we gapped down yesterday. Yes. And and so a gap's kind of like works works like bottoms. You know, if you go up and test the gap uh, on ten percent of lighter volume, that gap's going to be resistance. So probably you're going to have the gap as resistance, and yesterday's or gap yesterday's gap is resistance, and yesterday's low is support. So we're probably going to flip sideways here. And if you notice, the market's up. Uh, decently today and you got a trend of 1.59 i know and, uh, it's amazing yeah. i was gonna bring that up it's like the trend folks it's like you know uh, this should be like paranoia beyond belief man <laughs> yeah it's it's pretty it's pretty good you know it's it's probably building energy to get that 10-day trend back up to you know 1.2 yes and uh, so the what you panic is kind of a gasoline for the market right so the more gasoline you got it in your tank the farther you can go with it and the more panic you have in the market the farther you can go with it and actually i got a chart yeah actually that flips the chart too real quick okay and uh have it the third window up from the bottom uh is the uh 
63 day trend, which is basically three months. Yes. And I, I labeled there the blue part is when the 60, uh, the 63 day trend is above 1.1. 1. 1. And if you notice, a lot of times, as long as that 63 day trend stays above 1.1, 1. 1, you got an uptrend going. Yep. And so you can have some consolidations, you know, but not major tops. And that's kind of what we got going right now. We got a 60 day trend coming in 1.13. 1. 1. So you're just kind of fueling this uptrend here. Yeah, I, I think we're not going to go really up this week, probably, well, this week's almost over. But next week is the week before option expiration week, which I think is going to be a sideways week. Then expiration week would go up. Uh, so I, I hear the music coming. That's perfect. So. You stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. And don't forget, you can get Tim's newsletter at Ord, R-D, hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord, hyphen oracle.com. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading up 333. NASDAQ's up 196. S&Ps are up 54. We're coming right back, folks. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow up 343, NASDAQ up 197, S&Ps are up 54. We got our man, Mr. Tim Wood. The chart we were just going over was the uh, 60. Uh, three day trend. Right, uh, 638. So, right now, uh, again, I did this chart today. We're at 1.13. 1 you know, this this doesn't, um, uh, 
it gets basically the, it gets you in the major trend, kind of keeps you there. Yes. When the, when you really have to worry when the sixty day trend gets down below one. Okay. And uh, the the tan areas and those red line areas are times when the trend uh, the sixty three day trend gets down, you know, at, at one point or lower. And you know they they kind of tell you, uh, you know, you know, back at the two thousand twenty two high, you know, it's act, you know, right after that top. You know, it's telling you that the market was getting dangerous. So right. We're not dangerous at all here. And, you know, this is the election year, too, so they're not going to kill the market. So uh, short term, you know, a little bit fuzzy, probably sideways, but in mid term, the trend is up. And you really make the big money, I think, if you can hold into when the market is trending. And I think the market, not every day is going to be an up day or maybe not every week up. But I bet every month up is going to be up all the way. No, you know, Tim, I, I I appreciate all the education you've given us because the what had happened today's Thursday and on Monday and Tuesday, even folks, okay, they we were we were running into you know I mean a 1.23 trend, a 1.20 trend, um, and yeah. it was like okay, man, you know. People are really paranoid, as Joe Granville said, you know, that climbing that wall of worry. Well, you know, you have basically took that that term and actually brought it into factual numbers, which is so cool, man, because it's like I, it's blowing my mind right now that we're at 1.48 live yeah. and the market's yeah. up over a percent. It's like, really? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's just really just it's, it's basically a, you know it's fuel for the market. Yes. You know when when you start really getting in trouble, you see a a trend get down to point five, and you see two three days in a row like that. Oh yeah. That usually spells pretty much trouble. You know, cause right. everybody's you know everybody's on you know, getting along the market, and that's a bad sign. You know. So yep. Exactly. Kind of want to do what everybody else is doing, but do the opposite. That's right. So exactly. Um, we can flip to chart three here real quick. Okay. Um, I have it. Is, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What, what it is, the top window is the RSI. Okay. And uh, that's that's all it is. And I think yeah, it's a daily chart. And every time the RSI manages to get to eighty, you know, you don't really want to pass eighty too much. Just eighty, you know, point seven nine, point eight two, or something yeah. like that. But yeah, you know, around eighty is usually never the final high. And a lot of times, that kind of defines. A trending market. Okay. And I, I I circled those areas in blue on on the daily chart. I see. And it. I did yep. those blue dotted lines kind of show you up where they show up at. They never come at highs. They always come like maybe the midpoint of a move or something like that. So I'm thinking, um, you know, there could be some minor back and forth here short term. But uh, this is another indicator suggesting we're probably going to trend here for a while. This is so, if you're watching Tiger TV, folks. Remember, if you if you're in your car and you're not watching Tiger TV, don't be looking at the screen simultaneously. Just listen to the radio. But go look at this chart tonight because what Tim is explaining, which is amazing, is that those blue circles, folks, are like in the middle. You you, you think that you were already the spy was already up quite a bit. Well, when the RSI is running at that 79, 79.5 or whatever, you know, to 80, this is in the middle of the trend. That's pretty amazing, man. You know, just when you think yeah. you can't go higher, it's like, no, no, hold it. We're going to go higher here. Unreal. Yep. Right. And actually, you know, if you look at the uh, the tan area there. Yes, I see it. We, yeah, I see it. that peaks around 70. Okay. So you, you get uh, so what, you get an 80. And the market keeps going up, and you start seeing 70 around the RSI or lower. Those are the times you got to worry. So that's the reason why I put those 10 areas in Nice. There. I got it. 10 okay. areas were when the RSI is up around 70 or less. Yep. Okay. So, so right now what this suggests, since we did reach 80 on the RSI here, I think it was back in December, you know, even a month ago. Yes. Um, it's, 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 it's kind of an initiation uh, of a of a trend market, so it's actually bullish. So and this chart goes back to looks about two thousand five or six or something. Nice. So it, yeah, so it's the test of time. It's pretty rare. It doesn't happen every year, but when it does, you really want to pay attention to it. Oh yeah. And, you know, we go over back twenty years, and this only happened what five six times. So yeah, um, and we're doing it right now. So anyhow, we can go. Uh, Chart four. I have it. Yeah, we talked about this in the past. A lot of people 
kind of get all balled up in the market and, and I kind of get too narrowed focus. But I'm presenting some stuff that looks at the bigger picture. Yes. And we talked about this before, you know, back in October. Uh, this The top window is the uh, NYSE summation index. And you need a selling climax. And right after a selling climax, you need a buying climax. And you can do this with the summation index. And you actually do it with volume, too. But anyhow, on October 27, 2023, we hit below 700. That's the selling climax. And in two months, you like to see it hit plus 1,000, which is basically a, a sign of strength. We happen, happen to have that on uh, December 27, 2023, exactly two months. I know. How some, cool was that, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, it worked. That, that kind of worked. That, that was usually they're a little bit longer than that, but around two months is ideal. And if folks, you if, months, if you've been listening, it's going to work. If you get out four months, you can actually that won't work as well. Right. And if so. you've been listening to Tim and myself, you know, as Tim's been walking you through this market, you know, this isn't a number that he Tim just come up with after the fact. Okay. You go back and listen to those shows in August. Okay. You're going to hear the exact same number because I remember as we're getting close to. You know, the, the December deal, I'm saying myself, oh, my God, I think this thing's going to hit right on, which which it did, which is pretty amazing. Right. Yeah. Pretty. So if you look at, you know, the chart, this chart goes back to 2007, and they all came at major lows. You know, and, yes. uh, you know and even the 2023 low, this indicator picked that low out. And also, you know, the uh, COVID crash, you know, tell you, so we got momentum here, you know, several different ways of looking at it. So it looks like this year is going to be a pretty good year. So um, how high is high? Um, you know, I you know I had that one monthly chart on the uh, SPX where the head and shoulders, the head and shoulders was, that's right. And yep. it had a projection up to 5,700, which is about 17% higher than where we are right now. And we're already up of what three, four percent this year so right. far. I think I right. have to go look at it. So it could be another twenty percent year again this year. So <laughs> that'll blow uh, some minds. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's kind of blowing everybody. Everybody's kind of still negative with stuff I'm looking at. I mean, as far as people's oh yeah opinion of the market. Yeah. So, I mean, listen, it's but, hard to comprehend that the yeah that the 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 attitude still out here is you know that there's. You know, the economy's slow and the economy's growing, man. So it's like there's a disconnect here and more than ways of just even the market. But it's a pretty big one. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 330. Nasdaq's up 197. S&Ps are up 53. Tim and I are coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. 
Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter, a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growl on a prowl on us out here. And after the close out here, folks, we're going to have Amazon coming out with numbers. You're going to have Apple coming out with numbers as well as Facebook and Meta. And it was going to be what's interesting with Amazon is that Amazon just come across the tape saying that now they uh, are also introducing a uh, generative AI shopping assistant named Rufus. And Rufus, uh, you can ask Rufus anything you want, <laughs> uh, including, you know, is this the cheapest price that I'm going to get? And uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to have that inside the announcement today. We got, uh, I mean, Mr. Tim, what the chart I got up right now, Tim, is the summation index. Yeah, so, you know, that's just kind of a repeat. Yes, okay. And this, this was kind of like uh, projecting, you know, this rally is still in the early stages. Yes. That's what I'm try trying to make. So let's flip to chart five. Okay, I have it. Yeah, yeah the, the second window up from the bottom is the SPX VIX ratio. Right. Normally, uh, uh, when, this, when the S&Ps are making higher highs, and that ratio is making ho a lower highs, uh, that's a di uh, divergence. And this is on a weekly time frame. So you'll have some on a daily time frame get divergence. But once it starts showing up on the weekly, uh, you got to really pay attention that the market's probably doing something that you don't want it to do. Okay. And so the tan areas are times when the SPs are making higher highs and that ratio is making lower highs. And now, uh, Coming off of the uh, 2023 low, uh, the point, point I was trying to make, yeah, you know, the blue areas where it basically it's a positive versus both the ratios making higher highs and the S and P's are making higher highs. So on a weekly time frame, that's bullish. So it looks pretty good. And actually, you can do another take it one step further. If you look at the 2020 uh, too high, okay. And you on the S and P's, and you approximate where we are right now, a little bit above it. Right. But if you look at the ratio, um, you're way above. Way it above it. Yes, to, you are. Yeah. So, so that's you know, I'm not sure that's a, a, a legal way to do it, but anyhow, it, the whole thing looks bullish. So, I'm not saying every week's going to be an up week, but this year, uh, so far, it looks really, really pretty good. Right, and, and folks, what you're hearing here is that when Tim was explaining on the summation index, in order for that to happen, meaning getting into the minus 700 and the plus 1,000, that is saying and said that it's going to be a longer-term bull, meaning the, you know, the year. And then when you combine that with this, it's pretty cool, Tim. That's no doubt. So, yeah, it's pretty it. Yeah. So, so I don't think we're actually even going to, well, things can change. You know, a lot of times you get, uh, you know, last year, uh, yeah, 2023, you know, we had a 10% pullback from that July high down to, what, an October low or something. And uh, I don't know if we'll even get that this year. We'll have to wait and see. Yes. But if we, if we see a 10% decline coming, 
you know, we'll have some graphs to point that out. Nice. So hopefully we will anyhow. That's right. So, but anyhow, we can flip to chart six. Okay, I have it up, the TLT VIX ratio, VVIX yeah. ratio. Uh, one of uh, your listeners uh, called uh, Jacob, or uh, emailed or something, he wanted to know what the TLT VIX ratio is saying. Yes. And it kind of, it, it did warn that we're going to go into a short-term high and that's the point I'm trying to make. The SPs were going up, which is the bottom window. Yep. That ratio was going down. And that did warn that you're probably going to have some sort of a pullback. But, in the, you know, I've, I've seen it, you know. And, but, you know, if you, you trade all the wiggles, I've been tra I traded out of the market so many times. I got tired of, you know, trading out. No, I'm with you because when with, you trade out, the market's gone. That That's <laughs> correct. And, and this is where it's really nice that you have a lot of different ratios so that you can look at these different ratios and then just make a, you know, they were a, a, a basically, a, you know, a, a thought process that, okay, I think this is, you know, temporary and, you know, the, all these other ones are bullish, so I'm going to stay long. Yeah. Yeah. Which that's, is, that's, all, that's which is always exactly a tough thing. I'm trying to make. You know, so. it, we're not saying this is easy, folks, okay, but the bottom line is if you follow what Tim is doing, I can tell you this, man. <laughs> uh, the clarity inside the marketplace that you're going to have is a lot better than you have now. <laughs> that's just that's just a yeah. fact, and that's everyone. Well, I don't I don't care if you've been in this business for 50 years, man. You know, yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, I want to point that out. That's that's kind of a bear situation, and how long it lasts? Maybe a week or less. I don't know. Yeah. But I pointed out the last several of them there, going back till December. That's right, because the one in July. That was a big one, and that's why, I mean, I'm glad you pointed it out, because that was the first one that actually you got out of the marketplace in July. And so, yeah, we stayed out. Yes. The market went down 10%. Right. I did lose a percent on that decline. And, right. You know, I kind of goofed it up. So, but, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, better than losing 10% or Oh, you know, no, big better, time. You know, and, and, and that's where the context comes of that you have more than one indicator, man. But the, the bottom yeah. line, evidently, a few of them had lined up. Okay, so... Right. Next chart is yeah, yeah the gold market here. Okay, this cool. Is, uh, kind of showing this in my market letter. Yep. Uh, it's it's uh, the top window is the RSI for the inflation deflation ratio, which is the next window down, and it works pretty well. Um, I, I the bottom window is the GDX, and yep. it's. it's the RSI right now on that ratio is below 30. So once it gets below 30 and turns up, it's usually a buy signal. Okay. So, um, and so, you know, that indicator is turning up right now. So I'm concluding it's a buy signal. So this should be some sort of a short term low. And I also got some red lines there. If you can see those red uh, yes, I can. lines there. Yep. Right. If you can see those, when the RSI gets above 70, is usually a short-term high, and that last high we did have that looks like about January, first part of January or end of December, we had that ratio get above 30 or get, get above 70, warning there's going to be a pullback. So I'm, I'm kind of looking at the bigger picture still. I didn't get out, and uh, because at some point we're going to turn up and we're going to stay up for a long time. All right. Well, you and know, yesterday, you know, price-wise, yesterday uh, it didn't hold price. But today, you just took out the consolidation, including the large spike from last week, and you have it with volume, 27 million. Yep. So that's, yep. that's what Tim's talking about, folks. So the, those signs of strength are really important to understand, you know, particularly after you, you basically, as Tim said, you got underneath it. Now the bottom line, they shake everyone out, uh, try to, and then, you know, you go from here. Yeah, wild, man. Right. Let's, let's do a, a chart number eight real quick. Okay. And this is the, this is one of the charts that I want to turn up, and yes. it, it's, it's a monthly HUI gold ratio. Okay, and I did a uh, uh, Bollinger Band on it, and so, so this is a really a good trending market type thing. Once it turns up, it usually stays up, but you need to close above the mid Bollinger Band on this ratio. Okay. Now, last time we got a signal was back in looks like January of 2021, so it's pretty much been on a sell signal for three years now. Wow. And uh, the blue the blue lines are the buy signal. Now we're going to close above mid-Bollinger Bands, the buy signal, close below mid-Bollinger Bands, the sell signal. And I like that ratio, or the, the ratio to get above the mid-Bollinger Band. If it does, 
chances are we're probably in a multi, at least a multi-month rally, if not even a multi-year rally. Off the races. Well, listen, Tim, it's always a pleasure getting that great education off you. You have a great weekend, a safe weekend, and we look forward to uh, talking with you Tuesday. All right. Thank you. Thanks, man. Love you guys. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 316. NASDAQ up 173. S&Ps are up 50. That's a gain inside the NASDAQ of 1.1. Inside the S&Ps, 1.1. Dow Industrials, 8 tenths of 1%. Now, after the close, folks, uh, these numbers will come out fast and furious. So when I'm doing the update, I suspect that we are definitely going to uh, – well, not, we're not going to get Apple because Apple is always 415 or 430. Let me see what that – yeah, it's 4.15 or 4.30, I forget what. But we're going to get uh, Amazon and we're going to get uh, Facebook. Uh, Amazon is normally right bingo. I mean, two seconds coming out there, and they're going to be looking. Uh, the, the, this whole new Rufus is going to be interesting, man. So you're going you're to get these add-ons, uh, this thing here. Amazon is adding an artificial intelligence shopping companion to its retail store in an effort to help shoppers a comparison shop and seek answers. Uh, Call Rufus, the shopping assistant, is launching today to a small, small subset of customers. The company users can ask the software what they need to start an indoor garden or ask for Valentine's Day's recommendation. Uh, the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you're going to have a generative AI 
uh, bottom line, push, pushing out uh, quite a bit. He, he can imagine if you can figure out how to get generative AI to stop pushing out some of your products, right? <laughs> that is, uh, I suspect, you know, the, the producers of products right now, I suspect, are basically all over that. Like, okay, how can we get that logarithm to turn around and say, okay, this is be a great present for such and such a day. This is a great present for such and such a day. You know, we're, we're going to see a lot of that, folks, okay? Um, volume out here, let's see what we got here. Because as, uh, you know, Tim was talking, the volume expansion yesterday was a monster. And out here today inside the NYSE, right now you're banging out 600 I'll do 900 or something. We did 1.3 billion yesterday. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your hat out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. It's uh, little Tommy's birthday, three years old. Quick three years. Stay right there, folks. Come back with the update, and uh, hopefully I'll get you some numbers on the uh, Amazon and uh, Meta.